Hello, so I wanted to talk to you today about a new model that got released called Bark. Now it's a TTS, so a text-to-speech based model and essentially what happens is you give it a piece of text in a string with some prompts thrown in and it can produce quite human-like output. So let's look at an example here. So we have the, the text here, this sentence, and then we have this prompt we have given it of an action we want it to do, so laugh. And then we have another sense, sentence beneath that. So let's listen to this in real time. Hello, my name is Suno. And, uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> but um, I also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. So that's pretty cool, right? It sounds pretty genuinely like a human being speaking, like a, a natural conversation you could have with, in this case, a female. Um, and the laugh sounds completely genuine. It doesn't sound altered or fake. It sounds pretty real in the context of a human speaking. They've, they've got other examples here, so foreign languages, so this I believe is Spanish. Es Miguel. Tu colega piensa que tu alemán es extremadamente malo. But I suppose your English isn't terrible. That's actually pretty good as well. It was able to it, speak in Spanish and also switch to English and the, the the AI model was able to pick that up which I thought was pretty damn cool anyway you can add music to it so I haven't heard the music one what does that sound like in the jungle the mighty jungle the lion barks tonight okay so you can hear that kind of uh, that background stringing noise but besides that it's pretty good so yeah, I mean, it goes on for a while, they've got some stuff here. Let's actually talk about a bit of the model here. So okay, so this is similar to a Valley E model that came out, which uses the sort of GPT-style framework, which is generative pre-trained transformer models. And at the core of it, it uses something called an encoder model. So I believe that's by Meta. So the license, yeah, so it's a non-commercial license. So you can't necessarily use it for business settings. But they do have a early access here. Uh, so if you go into that sign up, I'm not entirely sure what that actually gives you. You might be able to use it, like you might be able to use a model in a, like a GUI setting, so an actual UI, customize it a bit more, and you might be able to get commercial licenses for that, for some of your audio. I'm not 100% sure on it. But yeah, they've got some more um, prompts here that you can use. So this is the kind of um, the attributes you can add to your speech. So gasps, sighs, laughter, clear throat, hesitation, and even music. And we can also switch between man or woman who's speaking at the time. Now, so far, languages, I mean, you can pretty much see what there, what languages they have. They've also got an example page. So, for example, uh, let's, let's look at this one. I've got a secret to tell you. I can pass the Turing test. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, we didn't prompt it to speak in a whispering tone, but nonetheless, it was able to understand to speak in a whisper voice, which is pretty cool. Um, another thing was this one that I found quite My friend's bakery burned down last night. Now, his business is toast. I think the joke's pretty rubbish, but still you can see how the, the initial sentence was said in a sad connotation with a sigh that was well placed, so the sigh of that sigh was really well placed in that sentence and the end part of the joke well said, rubbish joke, well said anyway they've got different examples like Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean yeah it's pretty cool um, yeah so they've also got a hugging face a page that you can set up so this is one I just set up let's see how that sounds Engineering, hello my name is Sino and uh and I like pizza. <laughs> um... Okay, you get the idea. Anyway, they've got a collab too um, that you can check out. Yeah, so collabs just there. I'll put it in the description as well in case you want to find that. Um, so this is the original one they have that they've given out. So if you don't need to run, if you if you don't want to add any more text, or you just want to look at the examples they've given, you can pretty much look at this. Um, but I do think a lot of this stuff is cherry picked. So let's look at this kind of prompt here where there's a woman speaking and a man speaking. So it's switched between woman and man. 
I would like an omelet latte, please. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, so that's the one that they have given, and I ran this environment to try and give the different examples. And if you listen to this one... I would like an oat milk latte, please! Oh, that's expensive! You see how there's a lot of noise in there? So, yeah, so I was running this collab environment, and what I found was every time a new prompt is given, it looks like the model reinitializes. So, a random speaker is assigned to the, um, the prompt, and it just kind of gives out, um, I would assume that the preferences or settings are different for each speaker. And so they just randomly assigned every time a, a speaker is um, prompted to speak. So this is one I made up myself. Hello, my name is Suna. And, uh, and I like farting. <laughs> but I also have other interests such as chasing squirrels. I also love eating garbage. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that was kind of stupid, but you can see how it's interesting how the, the laugh there is somewhat, it's a subtle laugh. Like, it's not like a, the other speakers have a more overt laugh, like a really loud one, and this one's very subtle, which is quite cool. Uh, you've also heard the switching one where it speaks in Spanish and speaks in English. Um, also, when you regenerate, a, a different speaker will be assigned to that. So, you could have a female speaking Spanish, or a male speaking Spanish, or some other person that you wouldn't even think of speaking Spanish, like maybe someone with an Indian accent speaking Spanish. It's, it's not very common, but you can do it with this model. Um, yeah, so also these these models take in a certain um, number of tokens, so something like 10 to 24. Um, if you give it too many lines of uh, text, it reaches a limit where it just sounds like gibberish. So for example here, I would like an old milk latte, please. Whoa! That's expensive. Well, maybe. If you earn more money, you could afford wine. Sure. I would have more money if you didn't spend... So you see, it kind of cuts off here. Right? And the audio is quite stringy. Now, I believe there's a cap of 14 seconds on all the demo audio, and you can bypass it. I'm not too sure how. I remember seeing a issue pull request and they were talking about to bypass it and they gave an example but I didn't read too much into it um, yeah but besides that it's quite an interesting model uh, let's listen to one more I have a silky smooth voice and today I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth yeah so I mean I think that's everything it's pretty much just kind of open the core level and play around with the environment I think this is a quite a big contender if they if they're able to smooth out the model and like smooth out all the audio and have some kind of preset configurations to each speaker to make sure the audio is really clean you could have some pretty impressive results and this might be a real contender for 11 labs I mean if you don't know what they are they are a sort of a TTS model again they have they build sort of text to speech models but they do have a very small snippet that you can take and if you want to do more than like a small snippet, you have to pay for the service. But this is free, and it's it's up to your system requirement to kind of the limits of how how much you can push this by. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, I think I'll end this here. The model's pretty impressive. Um, a lot of the cherry picked audio sounds genuinely like a human being. So yeah, if you like what you saw, maybe give it a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.